Welcome to the CADFEM ANSYS tutorials. In this presentation I'd like to show you how to define geometry parameters by means of ANSYS Design Modeler. By importing data from CAD systems, or for the purposes of non-parametric geometry, you also have the option of using data in STEP, Parasolid or ASYS formats. We begin with the parameterization of geometry in Design Modeler. When you've created the geometry, you can mark the corresponding parameters in the design with a D, and you can also give it a label, such as thickness. You can likewise select the parameters in 3D using geometry features, selecting the corresponding parameters and giving them a designation, thereby making it into a parametric geometry. Changing to Workbench Project Manager, you'll see a parameter set that now controls your design modeler geometry, meaning you now have two input variables defining your geometry. It's also possible to parameterize CAD geometry using geometry taken from ProE as our example, i.e. you take the parameters of the geometry model and give this a designation, the default in this case being D21 and you change it so that it includes DS in the designation, for example curvature underscore DS. The DS then forms a predefined filter, meaning not all the CAD system parameters will be applied, but only those with a DS, so the CAD based list of parameters will only be so long. If you now load this geometry into ANSYS and link it with an analysis, and look at it in the mechanical editor, you'll see the parameters from the CAD system either at the level of the geometry, down at the bottom, in the case of an assembly related parameter, or in the case of a component related parameter, the parameters of the respective component are allocated to Workbench. We can now see that the parameters that have come from the CAD system have become accessible, and we can mark them as parameters such that we have a parameter set in Workbench Project Manager that can be used for the simulation and can modify the geometry, thereby facilitating a parametric variation. ANSYS does not itself alter the CAD geometry, but transfers a parameter set to the CAD system, where the geometry is generated again, before being transferred back to ANSYS in renewed form. To finish with, we shall parameterize a dataset in step format, which involves extracting the data into Project Manager and editing it using Space Claim Direct Modeler. We are viewing a symmetric model of a machine press crosshead, a cast assembly, and using the pull function, we can alter this geometry, even though it's actually a fundamental parameter, which makes it simpler to make modifications. And it's not only individual surfaces that can be altered, but also polysurfaces, as seen here in this curved area, with neighbouring curved surfaces being pulled along together. When you see a parameter of this type, a measured parameter, you can use Ctrl-G to make it into a parameter. So we see that this parameter is controlling the geometry, opening the door to creation of a parametric variable.